Hello and welcome to our core message for this week. We are going to take a break from our series. We're in the middle of our series stories and songs and depending on when you're picking this up that will either make complete sense to you or you'll have no idea what I'm talking about but either way we want to celebrate Easter this week. I am gutted that we cannot be together to celebrate the resurrection and to encourage each other and to invest in each other as we gather around Jesus so we are going to have to find other ways to do that today. So we are going to hear from some people in our community who have very generously given us their time and responded to some questions that we sent out a few weeks ago. So what comes next are their responses to those questions. I want to encourage you to read Luke 24 today. I want you to get into that resurrection story. I want you to feel that excitement. I want you to celebrate life. I want you to thank Jesus. I want you to get around that with other people. And so send the WhatsApp, get in the group message, Zoom with somebody, connect with somebody, listen to what people in our communities are gonna share with us next. Be excited about it. Jesus is alive. Everything has been changed forever. So let's join together. I know we can't be in person, but as we share these resources, share these times, look to encourage each other as we hear uh, some people's thoughts around Easter. Be brilliant, go well, and we'll see you soon. Happy Easter. Um, I think or I hope that um, the way I live my life every day um, connects people with the importance of Easter. So um, the way I um, spend my days, the way I spend my time, the way I raise my kids, the way I spend my money, um, and how I treat people. Um, yeah, I hope that's just um, the best expression of, of faith, I guess, that, that I could have. Easter is a, is a bit like Christmas in a way in that it's one of the more, it's a well-known Christian celebration. So it's quite easy to bring up as a topic. It's, it's not something that is difficult for people to like get their heads around in the sense of they, most people I think are familiar with the story. And I think if people know you well anyway, they might ask you why you go or why you celebrate it if they know you, you believe in Jesus anyway. Mm. Um, and if not, it's maybe just a case of like being a bit brave to put yourself out there a little bit to use it as an opportunity to tell people about why it's important to you. Yeah, and it's, it's, but I think as well, because it is like a, a well-known sort of, a well-known story that it's, it allows us to sort of put some clarity onto it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's often people think they might know, but they only remember bits of it maybe, or they've misunderstood yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and there's also like social media as well and, and putting things on, not, not just pictures of bunnies and Easter eggs and chicks, but obviously putting pictures on of Jesus and quotes and you know, all that sort of stuff that you get on social media, which I don't really look at, but it does sort of do its job yeah. for yeah. most people. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I would like talk to my friends about what I know about it and see what they know. And then like, just have a chat about the whole reason that Easter's even, like that Easter is Easter. The best way for me to connect people with the importance of Easter is by just having conversations and I think at Easter more or less everybody celebrates it somehow, don't they? Mm. You know, even if it is just with chocolate. Um, so it's just a good conversation starter and whether it is with the kids when they're asking about it or, you know, just people generally when they talk about Easter, it's a good way for us to share why we celebrate it and why it's so crucial to the Christian faith. How about you? What helps you? Um, yeah, I guess similar in a way, you know, I think it's that, um, it's kind of synonymous in, isn't it? Isn't it with like, you know, chocolate and Easter hunts and things like that. And, you know, I think there's always something going on where, you know, we could perhaps, you know, not have a ulterior motive or agenda, but just use that opportunity to, you know, try to connect with people and you know if it's you know well what do you do at Easter or how do you celebrate it 
you know, like you said, it's it's that opportunity, isn't it, to talk to people about Jesus and why it's important, and also the kind of the weekend as well. Mm. You know, as you know, obviously Good Friday and so on, and you know, it's I think it's a good opportunity to kind of like let people know why it is that it's important, and obviously, you know, Jesus coming back, you know, is a kind of cornerstone and foundation for Christianity you know without that it's you know it's um it's missing a, a key element Well, listen, I would just tell my friends and like um, my family and stuff about like the actual meaning of Easter because obviously isn't it's good to um, celebrate it in whichever way you want to but I think that some people don't necessarily get the actual meaning of it so I like to like, tell people about it. It's easy to have a conversation with people about what your plans are for Easter weekend when it approaches and to be able to tell people how you celebrate that and the fact that you spend time actually praising Jesus for what happened at Easter, you know, you can share the good news of Easter so easily in those conversations. Um, I think actually that's a lot harder than connecting people with the importance of Christmas for example because at Christmas it's really obvious like what's going on, there's nativities everywhere, there's plays in school and nurseries, there's like um, nativity scenes everywhere, there's carol singing, but there's not quite the same like um, cultural thing <laughs> at Easter and therefore you have to be, the conversations don't just happen, you have to be really intentional about your conversations about Easter and the importance of it. Easter is very important to all of us, no matter who we are, whether we are a people of faith or not. Because when Jesus came and died for us, he died for all of us. So as I connect with people, I'm reminding them that they're all loved and they're all forgiven. And they all have an opportunity to put things right by connecting with the message of Easter. that we can be excited about about it every day not i think i think sometimes there's this great emphasis on it's easter sunday it's really exciting favorite service of the year other than christmas which i do agree with and i really look forward to easter but i think because of what easter represents and reminds us of and the importance of what jesus did for us that we should feel that way all the time like we can live Easter Sunday yeah. all the time not just like one day a year if that makes sense yeah but I also think there's like more emphasis as well on Good Friday isn't there and, and, can be, and yeah. Jesus dying on the cross rather than focusing on like the resurrection and what yeah. it brought afterwards and you know how it how it changed you know things for for man and, and woman yeah love love that is unconditional that is inclusive for all humanity easter brings us and reminds us of that special love that god has for all of us i think the the, the whole thing of easter and how it fundamentally changes how we as christians can live um, that we are no longer bound by law, that we are free and Jesus has done all of the amazing things that he did and achieved by going to the cross over Easter, that that is, that is just so fundamental to how we live um, that I want, I'd like to share that with people. that it was all from Jesus and that what he did for us 
without that then we wouldn't be how we are today and we'll probably wouldn't have any freedom it's what jesus did for us mm -hmm. you know it's kind of yeah it's and it's trying to do that in a way that doesn't frighten people or put people off or you know or it's not too heavy for people mm -hmm. you know and i think i'm still trying to figure out that stuff for myself of how to talk to people yeah about that kind of stuff but same you know it is the one thing that I'd like people to know about Easter. Mm. You know, that um, you know, Jesus came and you know, and he died for us. Mm. You know. And um yeah, and it's it's trying to figure out a way to explain that to people in a gracious and kind way, you know. Yeah. I think so. I think um the one thing I probably want people to know about Easter is Freedom. I think that's probably the the one theme. I think even the people that maybe wouldn't call themselves Christian probably know something about the Easter story. But I think the conversations that I've had anyway, people like often see it as quite gruesome and sort of um, maybe are a little bit confused as to why we celebrate it. Mm. Um, and to me, I think the way that Easter brings us into freedom is. A message worth hearing really. I would like them to like mirror the Easter story because um, lot, as I said before lots of people don't actually focus on that they think it's all about chocolate and um, new life which it partly is um, to do with like, new life and stuff but it's then they don't actually think about it in depth about like why we celebrate it. That it is um the like most important event to ever happen in history ever that it is life-changing for everybody um not one person is like not included in that it is life-giving and freeing and um it is for everybody i guess that it changed everything for everyone forever and like nothing else ever has There's lots of chocolate around at Easter. It's so easy to do lots of Easter treats, whether that's um, Easter eggs or um, chocolate nests with uh, with eggs in and things like that. And it's so easy to just pop some of those things together, just mix them up with your kids and, uh, and drop them around to your neighbours. While we're in lockdown, our neighbours really are the people that we live next door to. It's not just the people that we would sell it, um, spend our days with at work or whatever else. Um, that you know, to be able to actually connect with our immediate neighbours and the people that we live with, I think is a real opportunity that uh, that can be so. It's such an easy win to to just show people that you love and that you care for them, especially those who are alone at this time. To maybe tell someone that you're praying for them, or to write a card to somebody and say and quote a Bible verse maybe, or say like, would you like to have a discussion, or um, would you like to chat about this further, or. Or just, yeah, just what can be more loving than telling somebody the story of Easter and letting them know that it is for them, that it's not exclusive, that it, it could be, and it is life-changing for them. Give them an Easter egg. Give your neighbour an Easter egg. I think you should give them an Easter egg. Um, well, normally we would have a chat or give them a card but now we probably would now we now we would we would possibly talk over, like from a distance have a bit of a chat yeah i think if i'm being honest this is something that i find difficult you know and i think it's um something that i need to build on and focus on and pray about and you know try and you know not just for easter but just in general, mm. you know, try and find better ways to kind of, you know, love our neighbours and, you know, and like use those opportunities that do come up, you know, rather than do something else or, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with you. Like, I think, you know, it's one of them where it takes a bit of intent, like intentionality, doesn't it, to make mm. the most of these opportunities and Easter is a good, a good opportunity to yeah. love our neighbours, um, you know, even if it is just like 
you know, buying somebody an Easter egg or, mm. you know, helping somebody out, inviting people around for food, you know, whatever it is that we can do. Yeah. But without us realising, I think sometimes it can just, you know, pass us by and mm. we've just done what we always do and not really thought about it. Yeah. Um, so maybe for this Easter is something for us to consider and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. make the most of, really. Yeah. Um, well, we didn't have like any close neighbours, but um, sometimes um, they would like some of them would take over stuff like um, some lamb um, over to us, and um, lots of our friends and families will give us like chocolate eggs, and so we would um, like might give them some back and stuff. I think again, I hope I don't love my neighbours any more at Easter than I do the rest of the year, um, but I guess maybe. Um, there's just more opportunities to talk about Jesus, um, with it being Easter time, possibly. So usually at Easter, I would have maybe reached out to my neighbours in the previous place that we used to live in. Where we are now, we are a bit limited in that we only have one neighbour who is nearest to us. So usually it would be a wave, you know, if I see them, I'll have a chat with them um, or maybe drop a card in their house, uh, an Easter card. But likely what is going to happen is very much a wave and a hello and how are you doing? How are you finding Easter, especially during this lockdown? Yeah, well, I think like the events that Easter celebrates are really important, aren't they? You know, mm -hmm. Jesus' death and resurrection, like that's kind of what we've made our lives about, really, um, in following Jesus. So, so that is important. But I don't know if like celebrating Easter in the calendar mm -hmm. to us as a family is like super, super mega important like it you know it's good and it's good to do that and I think it's a good yeah. reminder and it's a great opportunity to connect with um, each other like in the community as well as you know to communicate that message to people that don't know Jesus mm -hmm. so I think for me the importance of Easter as we know it is the opportunity that it brings mm -hmm. yeah definitely it is part of my faith it is who I am it is what I believe and take away Christ dying on a cross and resurrecting again. My faith becomes a little bit irrelevant. The Easter message is so key to what I believe that I cannot be who I am without it. And so it is important because it reminds me of that love again and forgiveness that Christianity is all about what happened at Easter was more significant for the world and for yeah. everyone in it yeah. and for believers that's why yeah that's why it's important to me and ultimately <clears throat> changed everything mm. you know Jesus dying for us so that we can live differently and have a relationship with God and um, get close and, and have that sort of like say relationship rather than it being that we have to be separated and, and you know paid for sin and everything like it just changed changed everything mm. so important very important because i know that like jesus and god will forgive me even though sometimes i still feel guilty it's not good to like hold on to these things It's important to me because now I know that now I know that um, I before I didn't actually know, but then now I know the whole reason 
and because Jesus died on the cross for us and then he came back to life and like no one else could do that. I guess it's just the foundation of everything that, that we believe, isn't it, as, as followers of Jesus. It's, um, it's, it's why we live the way we live and it's, um, it influences all of our decisions every day. Um, like I said, how, how we treat people and how we, how we spend our days. That's a really hard question because I can't put into words how important it is and why it's important because like we are not, I, yeah I can't answer that, like Jesus died for us <laughs> and rose from the dead and that is why it's important because that happened. Easter is important to me because of what Jesus did during uh, that Easter uh, Easter period, the fact that he went to the cross, he died, he gave up everything so that he could set us all free. It's just, it transcends every part of who I am and has enabled me to live in a freedom that I would never have otherwise. Well, I think that Easter um, plays um, a part in like throughout the whole year because it's um, saying how like um, Jesus died on the cross for us and um, for our sins and then resurrected again. So it's like still hope, and um, even though it's like even though something bad happens, there's still hope. I think knowing. Um First of all, obviously, how much God loves us by coming to earth and going through what he went through um, for us. Just knowing that he loves us that much is, is life-changing um, and affects us, hopefully, every day um, and helps us through things um, that we're going through in, in life. Um, the fact that Jesus was treated unfairly by people that he trusted. Um, he was betrayed by, you know, the people that were closest to him. Um, it helps in life when you're going through stuff. Jesus, you know, when we're, when we're praying, God knows he's been, he's been through the same things that we've been through. And that helps me anyway. So throughout the year, I tried to be what Christ has called me to be. Caring, loving, forgiving, and just generally lifting other people up, wanting to see other people succeed. And the Easter message is the beginning of that journey. It is a message that says, life is not all about me, but it is about other people. So whether I am in work or at home or meeting people out in a community, I am trying to do what began at Easter time, shaping my character, who I am. And that's what I do throughout the year. As I said before, you know, what Easter has achieved and what Jesus did during that Easter time um, has just completely transformed who, who it can be and that goes beyond the four days in which we celebrate Easter that completely goes throughout the rest of the year and it's in my everyday life. I think once you understand the, the point of the Easter message and what Jesus did for us it yeah. means that you live differently. I think if you truly get your head around what God has done for us, how kind he's been. I think it makes you want to do it as yeah. well. If you truly understand it, I think it makes you want to actually follow Jesus and live differently to how you've been living before and live more for God and to live more in Jesus' image and try and, you know, replicate some of the ways that he he lived. Yeah, and how he treated people. And how we treat, yeah, definitely how we treat your people. Yeah, because he and, and called people out. Yeah, and and like his whole, you know, the way he did things so differently, and you know the opportunities that he took to 
meet people's needs and mm. be a friend and support them and treat them fairly and stuff. I think he did so much for us by, you know, Easter, the cross. Because of that, and like I say, once you understand that, it makes you want to live in a different way, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the million dollar question really, isn't it? About how, what happened on that day influences us. But I guess Jesus' resurrection is what everything else hinges on, isn't it? That mm -hmm. that was the moment where, you know, even his disciples realized that he was who he said he was, that he was God and he is God. And um, I think that fact that he is who he says he is mm -hmm. influences everything that we do, you know, what we choose to spend our time in, how we choose to you know, invest our like energy and resources in, in mm. you know, basically all the decisions in our lives really. Like mm. I think, you know, when we say that Jesus is our Lord, that he is kind of in control of our lives and that we've chosen to follow him, it is because of Easter that mm. we do that, isn't it? So mm. yeah. I think it'd be harder to think how it doesn't influence us because it changes everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, how about you? Anything you want to add to that? No, not particularly. I mean, you know, it's like you said, it's it's the be all and end all, isn't it? It's it's why we do what we do. Yeah. You know, and it's you know, it's why we want to introduce that relationship with Jesus to, you know, everybody we meet who doesn't mm. already know him and Yeah. You know. So at Easter, connecting with Jesus, there are lots of things around me. There's new life. It is springtime. We have, you know, crops, plants, new flowers popping up everywhere. All these things are a reminder of that new life that we get that started from Christ dying and resurrecting, giving us something fresh, something new. Uh, taking away our sins and giving us an opportunity to be free again from uh, the bondage of sin. So all the things that are around me are a reminder of that. I think um, it's really easy to read the Easter story and because we've read it so many times for it kind of not to it lose its impact and lose its meaning a little bit. So I think at Easter it's really important to understand what happened, to put yourself there, to imagine it, to, to understand what it is, not just to read the words and say a thank you prayer and crack on with your day, but to really like dwell in it and understand and take in and take in the magnitude of the event and the sacrifice and the love involved. Yeah, um, I think, you know, being in contact with our community, our church, you know, is, um, is something that, you know, obviously it helps being in a, you know, a corporate situation and yeah. corporate prayer and, you know, and, and talking to people and, hearing their stories and how it's affected them as well. And I think that, you know, motivates me to, you know, kind of carry that with me and, you know, think about those people and pray for those people as well. Yeah. You know, and I think in doing so, it kind of reminds me that, you know, it kind of started, you know, once Jesus came back, you know, and the disciples were kind of then on their kind of on their own and well not on their own obviously they had the Holy Spirit but didn't have Jesus physically with them. Yeah. You know. You know, and then obviously you read into Acts then and 
you know, they kind of come together and they support each other and they help each other and, you know, and they pray for each other. And, you know, I think being in a, a like situation of being able to meet with people, obviously now it's, it'd be through, you know, FaceTime or Zoom or WhatsApp yeah. and that kind of thing, you know, so it still doesn't detract that having that community of believe, believers together, you know, it's, um, yeah, invigorates and motivates and, yeah yeah i think for me prayer is probably always going to be my go-to for connecting with jesus regardless of kind of what time of the year it is or whether i find that that's probably my easiest way and um reading the bible i know it's kind of boring like reading the bible and praying but that's probably how i would connect with jesus i tend to read through um the gospels or like at least one account of what happened at easter and meditating on it and you know, just going to ask God to speak to me about it again, um, just because it is such a key event mm -hmm. in um, kind of in the Gospels, really. So probably that and prayer. Mm. Um, well, my family and I, and sometimes my, friend, my friends as well, and they talk about it, and we might think about it in depth, and like pray, and actually take some time to um like appreciate like what we have and um about the easter story so i feel like that helps me to understand it more i think you feel almost a reminder of just how much and how significant it is what he's done just it's at think... the forefront of your sorry, mind a bit sorry, more sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go on you think what i just think the whole day makes you think more about yeah. especially when you when you you've had that relationship with God, I think when you haven't had that relationship with God, you, you just you just you look. Day. It's all about how many Easter eggs you find in the Easter egg hunt, really. But I think when you actually have that relationship with God, then you think about it more. It's it's more, you know, the the presence and those constant thoughts are there throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. I can't really elaborate much more no, than it's that. It's good. It's a good reminder, just, just because life's busy and you know there's a lot going on i think it's nice to have that it gives you time yeah it gives you that just that day or two days just to actually sort of think about it and reflect yeah. on it mm. reflect that's a good word it is a good word mm, yeah good reflect word, yeah. Mm. yeah um well normally we would pray a lot on easter and it helps me to connect because then i can like i can talk and well, it's, I could just say what I need to say to him. I guess there's just a, a heightened awareness um, of, you know, we're all thinking and talking about what Jesus did for us. So um, it's just that sort of reconnection and the recalibration of, um, wow, you know, and um, the, yes, this is, this is how I want to live. This is what I want to live for. Jesus did this. Um, for me, um, so I'm gonna, you know, live in a way that is respond responding to that. It's often lots of Bible plans around Easter, um, about the Easter story, and it's often helpful for me to um, reacquaint myself with the details of that. I think we get so familiar with the story of Easter, sometimes we forget some of the, the really nitty gritty parts of it, and it's always so good just to revisit that story. And I often, Rewatch the Passion of Christ around Easter time again uh, for the same sort of reason. I'm quite a visual person, so to be able to see it played out on screen for me really helps me to connect with what actually went on. Do you know what? As a family, we don't really do like an Easter dinner or anything. Um, how do we celebrate Easter? Might go for a nice walk and pray. <laughs> how do we usually celebrate Easter? Um, well, we uh, do our thing with the kids. We do our like a little 
Easter hunt. Yeah. You know, I think we usually try to explain to the kids in their terms, you know, um, to help them kind of understand why we celebrate Easter and it's not all about fluffy bunnies and chocolate eggs, but you know, there is a, a deeper and greater meaning, you know, so we try to do that with the kids and obviously, you know, the kids love love the Easter hunt that we do and we bury eggs around the house and they go on a little treasure hunt. And um, yeah, and obviously, you know, when we're able, we try to, well, we usually connect, you know, with the rest of the church and, you know, we'll celebrate that way, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Well, we spend quite a lot of time with family over Easter, um, but as well with community of faith, um, whether that's um, getting together on Good Friday or on Easter Sunday or whatever else, whether that be online that we, we have available just to be able to connect and celebrate the good news of what Easter, what Easter means to us. Well, we normally would possibly have some Easter eggs or have a nice dinner and then we'll spend time as a family and possibly talk, well, we'll talk to our fam other more distant family, like, or go on a call. Um, we celebrate Easter um, for like, um, meeting up with friends and families and obviously we can't do it at the moment because of lockdown and stuff but even if it's just like sending a text message or a card or like a chocolate egg to someone um, then like that's how we normally celebrate it. So during Easter I would usually celebrate slightly low-key. I am not in your face type of person but I'll spend time with my family. We'll probably watch some films together. Those films uh, at this time of the year tend to have a strong focus on Easter message anyway. We would eat together and I'll probably reach out to my extended family who live far, far away from here. So it's a combination of things that will help me celebrate this time of the year. Um, and very much as showing and being loving to others. That's part of Easter and that's part of my celebration. Easter egg hunts. Um, Where? Around the house, in the garden? Well, this year, around the house and in the garden, but I do enjoy the Arboretum for a, for an Easter egg hunt, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, the Arboretum is mm, quite, that's a quite good, good for an Easter egg hunt. Hot cross buns for breakfast. Yeah. That cake. What's that cake with the marzipan in? I have no idea. You asked me this the other day. Simnel cake. Simnel cake? I do like that with a cup of tea. How else do you celebrate Easter? That's... Well, we don't We don't really go all out like we do at Christmas just, for Easter. Just the, just the eggs, probably. It is, it is more, about, more about eggs. Sorry. Although last year you did get me beer instead of eggs. Mm. Easter egg beer. Well, not Easter egg Easter beer, Easter beer. beer. Obviously, we would normally come together as a church um, and gather and, and celebrate um, but this is year two now I've not been able to do that um, so I guess it'll be um, dinner with you know the five of us um, and chocolate um, I, did, I did get baptized on Easter Sunday so you know that was that was cool We'll probably um, go over on videos and just see what people are saying for them. Or we would have services like about Easter and it's all about Easter so then we could just focus on it. Yeah, well obviously normally we would connect with people from our community probably in a gathering. Um, you know, that's what we would normally do, isn't it, at Easter time? We'd have something and we'd all get together and celebrate Jesus and you know, maybe eat food together and, you know, mm. kind of, yeah, have a big celebration really, but obviously this year it's going to be different. Yeah. Um, but we'll be joining in with anything that's available online and, you know, maybe catch up with people over WhatsApp and just, you know, pray for each other as well and just trying to celebrate together, even if it's not in the same room, but mm -hmm. in whichever way we can. I don't know about you, any other thoughts? No, I think you covered it quite well, you know, we 
we do live in a time where we have great resources and great opportunities to That's you know true. to connect with people in, in different ways and you know even though we are a, a, an odd time at the moment you know that still doesn't stop us from connecting with people mm -hmm. this year is different in that we are limited in what we can do so the likelihood is that i would probably use social media a lot more to connect with those people uh, even as simple as sending a WhatsApp message or a text message to one of um, uh, the people within the community. And if they're far away, maybe having a Zoom call. Uh, those are sort of things that I would use to connect with other people within the community of believers that I belong to. I think uh, just join in with general prayers of thankfulness and just be in awe together of what Jesus has done for us um, and just ask for, you know, continued motivation and, um, yeah, continued faithfulness. And it's a real opportunity to encourage and build each other up as we remind each other of that sacrifice. Often just getting in touch with people and uh, making, because so many people are off on, on a long bank holiday weekend, it's easy to meet um, additionally to how you would ordinarily meet in the week um, and just spend some time with people and remind ourselves of the good news of Easter when we're allowed to actually be in the same room as each other which isn't at the moment um, being able to celebrate as a, as a large community of faith a whole body of faith um, in one room praising and sharing the good news stories but amongst us is also amazing well, most of the time there will be like a video um, because, um, to do with e the Easter and um, that um, that helps us like connect as, as well and um, sometimes it will be like in person um, and so that helps connect them. But maybe it would, it's a case of being more thoughtful about it of like a Zoom or checking in with people yeah. or um, Sending sending text to people just to you know just to touch base on the day or or you're right to, to zoom people yeah just still I'm making that conscious choice to connect with them mm. in a different way this year might might be quite I nice. think that's all you can do at the moment isn't it yeah ordinarily like I say we would have like a meet it, meeting and a lunch yeah or sometimes families we get together as a family and yeah. you know do an Easter egg hunt. Roast dinner. Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Eat Easter eggs. Watch Easter movies. One hundred percent hot cross buns. An extra glass of wine. <laughs> um, well, it used to be lint balls. But the company's really upset me. Oh, I'm not. Oh, yeah. No, Lynn, uh, they're fine. Um, my favourite Easter treat is probably Easter eggs because I really like chocolate. But I'm just not happy after spending ten quid on an egg that was, you know, not consistent. I like Easter. To be fair, Easter is good for treats. Chocolate bunny, like the Peter Rabbit chocolate bunnies that Dairy Milk have brought out, they're mm. quite nice. My favourite Easter treat is um, these like small chocolate eggs with like the smooth um, chocolate inside. Simnel cake, hot cross buns. The the, um, the Aldi lint bunny. You could always do that as an alternative. Yes, they're quite nice. It tastes like lint, but it's actually from Aldi. Yeah, they're quite it's nice. It's not cheap chocolate. It does taste um, like lint. Yeah, obviously there's lots to choose from, but I think my ultimate favourite, that uh, you know, I'll just that, is Cadbury's cream eggs. I got a little good Cadbury cream egg and a nice mug, mug of coffee to wash it down. So yeah, that would be my favourite. It's very specific, but I think, um, yeah, just chocolate. Just any kind of chocolate, really. Mm. You know what I mean? Not just for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Not just for Easter, anytime. Yeah. Easter cake, like the crispy cakes, mini, mini eggs. Mini, mini eggs. eggs. That, to be fair, if, they, if you were to tear them, mini eggs would be in a top three. Hmm. I don't usually do a lot of treats at all. I don't have a sweet tooth. Generally, 
uh, but if there was one treat, probably be one of those small Easter eggs. You know, those ones which have a lot of gooey stuff in the middle, rather than the big empty one. That is one thing that I tend to look forward to. So just one or two of those uh, enough for me. Um, and yeah, so that probably be one of the treats I look forward to. Yeah. Mini eggs are pretty cool. Cream egg. Mm, not not since the American company's taken mm. over Cadbury's. Caramel, dairy milk caramel egg. No, I don't like caramel. Oh, dairy milk caramel egg. I'm just, yeah, I'm not really a massive chocolate fan, to be honest. It's Easter. 